Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Lynn. I'm going to explore the commonly scripted phrase survival of the fittest. The phrase survival of the fittest originated with Charles Darwin's evolutionary theory of natural selection. Darwin coined the phrase to describe the natural tendency of stronger life forms to survive and live longer while weaker elements struggle until their eventual elimination. A question that immediately comes to mind is, how could this phrase originating from a revolutionary scientific theory become part of our everyday lexicon? Survival of fittest applies to basic issues of change, despite a shorter time frame of society rather than biology. Consciously or not, we humans naturally resist changes to our personal environment. Social conformity makes coexistence easier, providing common lifestyle bonding points. Take a moment and think about a time when you did not conform to society or all the crowd. Often we go along with the flow and conform to society because it is easier than having to push against the current and take a risk in order for change to occur. Although, sometimes change is inevitable. Now, close your eyes and imagine a drastic change that would cause you to have to fight for your life every day in order to stay alive. For example, all of a sudden you were walking in the shoes of a soldier that is at war. At any moment you could be attacked and you would have to fight and kill another human being in order to survive. Now that, now that my friend, is a whole other deck of cards that no one wants to play with. However, with the current traumatic, devastating, traumatic and devastating events taking place, could eventually cause this one phrase to be no longer an idea but a reality. North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Kim Jong Un is one of the world's cruelest dictators. Today, approximately 30% of North Korea's population suffers from starvation. The Supreme Leader proclaims that his, this catastrophe has been fabricated by his Western enemies. Despite the fact that he stuffed his face constantly with food, while his People starve to death on a daily basis. A true leader is supposed to use their resources and power to take care of their people, but in this case, the leader is the one that needs to be taken care of. Power comes with a price of having to be responsible for other people and, and their well-being. Kim Jong-un is clearly an example of a leader that is not responsible and mis misuses his power for personal gain. Now, think it back and, re and rewind time. In order to make a significant connection, two evil dictators that each killed millions of people. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Hitler and Stalin. These two totalitarian leaders showed that by using power in a negative way can cause the process of survival of the to begin. All three of these leaders have used their power for personal gain and, and to have control. The way that survival of the comes into play is when each leader forced their own people to conform to their ideals. Those people had to fight for their lives, not physically, but mentally and emotionally in order to stay alive. However, those that were rebellious around him with conform were immediately eliminated or tortured until they died. Also, currently, there are a few movies that show uh, the show survival of the taking place, and the hard games and divergent of total population was separated into groups in order for the government to keep everyone in control and prevent any rebellious acts from occurring. Although in each movie, the government required each person to perform by enforcing upon the total population in order to keep any rebellious acts from arising with any of the groups. Being different or trying to make a change within the system was viewed as a threat and has to be eliminated. And, ha and has to be eliminated. These few examples that I have discussed tonight show how the phrase of the survival of this could one day become a reality. Now the question is, if this phrase truly does become a reality, what will we do next?